I hear a lot of Chuck Berry in your playing. I hear a lot yeah. of Chuck Berry in 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 the early roots of punk of punk rock. Yeah. No. You know. You're absolutely right. Chuck Berry was a really big influence. Um, uh, and, and I actually got a, a lot of that from listening to Johnny Thunders. Right. Um, and uh, uh, he was the first one that I, I actually heard or understood the kind of double stop thing uh, on playing playing guitar, like 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 playing the. It's interesting because you know the difference. Like you play that. I mean, you're you're not turned up very loud. But if if you play that through a, a tweed amplifier, sort of at a level that would have seemed respectable in the '50s, that's Chuck Berry. You do mm. that very same thing through a high watt, and all of a right. sudden it sounds like a totally different thing. Oh yeah, it sounds great. Yeah. You know, it's it's very. It's, it, yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's it's very powerful. It's, not that it sounded bad the way Chuck Berry did no. it. It sounded great the way he did it. No, no, but of you course. You it up, and yeah. it's a different monster. No, no, no. It it, it is. Um, and uh, one of the main reasons why uh, I picked up on that style of playing because when we started the band Teenage Head, um, eventually I was originally the bass player but then uh, Steve came in and as we all know uh, when you're first starting a band someone does not know how to play everyone's just learning how to play as they go so I had to go over to guitar I didn't want to play guitar really? I, wanted, I, I was very happy being a bass player really? yeah very happy uh, but I um, I got voted over, well, someone's got to play the guitar. <laughs> Usually so. the other way. Usually the bass player is the one going, okay, fine, I'll play the bass. <laughs> no, no, I, I wanted to be, a, originally I wanted to be a bass player because one of my favorite music, musicians was Den Dennis Dunaway from Alice Cooper. Okay. So I, I wanted to be a bass player. Right. Um, but um, well, see, you're the kind of person. Who, I'm not that you should be a guitar player because you play really well. But somebody who desperately wants to be a bass player, I mean, those are hard to come by. Well, I got voted out. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Steve came in and he wanted to play bass. So, uh, so anyway, um, yeah. Uh, but then I wound up. Okay, well, I, you know, then, well, you know, again, you're kids, and 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 now I've got to learn how to play guitar solos. And uh, um, what I found was uh, playing guitar solos. I I found a real emptiness by playing single note solos. Right. And so again, listening to Johnny Thunders, listening to Chuck Berry, I I, I realized doing that double stop, doing multiple notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two or three at a time. Yeah. I was filling up a hole. I was filling up. I was filling up a space yeah. that maybe I felt was very empty. And uh, well, it's funny you bring up Chuck Berry. Um, uh, one of the first songs that I, I ever wrote. Well, the first song I really did wrote, wrote write was called "You're Tearing Me Apart." Um, and uh, again, I just wanted to write something. And the chord progression is uh, like uh, just B to E. Right away, all, I'm, I'm constantly right away getting. I picked up on that very, very early as a kid. I could do that all day long. Right. I love and, it. And it's, I mean, again, it's an, yet another one of those parallels between the music of the 50s and black, and black you know, R&B and blues artists, yeah, yeah. and the, and the parallel between that and the blue and and punk rock. Right. Because it's, it seems that there are so there are quite a few parallels in terms of the approach to the instrument, the guitar in particular. And you can hear it in, in The Clash, and you can hear it in The Sex Pistols, and you can hear it in New York, punk rock. You know, you can especially, especially New York. Especially New York. I mean, yeah. And you can definitely hear it in, in your playing. It's interesting, I, I, uh, as you know, Richard Lloyd has been a, is a part of this festival. Right. His, his approach and, the, and, and Tom Verlaine in television, their approach struck me as a bit less of that sort of early rock and roll. I mean, they had, they had the interplay mm -hmm. that was often compared to the Stones, for example. Right, yeah. But they weren't, they weren't leaning on elements like Chuck Berry or, 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 or uh, Jimmy Reed, for example, of people that you are. Oh, oh definitely, yeah. Well, again, uh, I, I can't uh, uh, say how much like a band like the New York Dolls was an influence on me. And, 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 what I, and I realized after listening to them and then listening to Teenage Head stuff, what 
like I didn't know a lot about blues. I still don't know a lot about blues. But right. when I do go re research it and I do hear it, I realize that what I was listening to in the New York Dolls was very, very bluesish. Right. They were doing a lot of blues licks. They, um, Johnny Thunders is the king of the blue note. Like he's always going like. Say, right. I mean, he hangs on that. Yeah, exactly. Well, you yeah. don't know if it's a minor third or a major third. Right, exactly. Yes. Right in between. Yeah. Yes. And yes. that you call it the blue note, which is exactly what it is, and it's the basis of the blues. Of the blues. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And and he and he, he and, uh, and I picked up. Well, I just listened. I just heard that note. It was just rang and rang in my head, like all the time. And so, um, uh, uh, but I did not know what it was. But I just know you know what he was doing. So again, I just you, like you said, you're going back through different stages, different different bands, different di different people, and you're picking things up, and then you're realizing, you know, there's an awful lot of blues. Uh, and, and then I listen to uh, Teenage Head stuff, and then I realize, okay, I got it from this, I got it from that. Dolls got it from Stone, Stone's got it from Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry, you know, and I realized, okay, I was playing kind of a lot, I was being very influenced by bluesish licks without right. even knowing it. Yeah.